good afternoon class. So this afternoon, I will be discussing the integration by substitution. Okay, so what's the use of integration by substitution? So there are some integrals that cannot be evaluated readily by the application of the standard integration formula. So we have here the technique for evaluating integrals. This is known as the method of substitution. So this may be involved or this may involve some variables, let us say from x to another variable u. So we have here the purpose of substituting a new variable is to bring the problem to a form for which the standard formula can be applied. So this integration by substitution is, uh, is uh, justified by the so-called uh, chain rule for integration. So we have here a term which we are going to familiarize with the neutralizing factor. This is denoted as NF. So we have here to evaluate the integral of 3x plus 4 squared dx. So in our previous discussion, you can simplify or find the integral of this expression by expanding through binomial expansion. But the problem is, how about if the exponent will be more than 2? It will become 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is very tedious for you to expand the binomial with the power more than 3. So let us evaluate the integral of 3x plus 4, but it is for dx. So using the integration by substitution, we use u to represent the expression inside the parentheses. So we have u is equal to 3x plus 4. Then from our previous uh, topic, last semester, differentiation. So we are going to differentiate 3x plus 4. So we have 3dx. So we have 3dx. I hope you remember that one. Or you can just have 1 third du is equal to dx by just dividing both sides of this by 3. So thus the given integral becomes the integral of 3x plus 4 quantity squared dx is equal to the integral of u squared. So we make it shorter by substituting 3x plus 4 to u. And of course, we have the neutralizing factor 1 over 3 du. We have the next is one third integral of u squared du. So apply the concept of basic integration. So we have, we add 1 to the exponent. So we have 1 over 3 times u cube over 3 plus c. Simplifying, uh, multiplied both numerators and denominators respectively. So we have u cube over 9. Okay, so u cube over 9, since u is equal to 3x plus 4, so just substitute it to u, so 3x plus 4 cube over 9 plus c. Okay, so that would be our uh, final answer. If you are already familiar with the uh, uh, integration by substitution plus, you can assume uh, this solution. So, there it's so long. So, the integral of 3x plus 4 quantity squared dx is equal to, so it, it, imagine you have already differentiated 3x, which is 3, and get its neutralizing factor by getting its reciprocal. So, the du of this 3x is equal to 3, getting its reciprocal, it is 1 over 3. We have the integral of 3x plus 4 squared. We have 3dx here. To running in lay layman's term, we have to put the denominator in the neutralizing factor beside dx. So whatever will be the neutralizing factor, all other variables which is equal to du. Uh, integrate 3x plus 4 squared. So we have uh, to add 1 to 2. So it will become 3 over n plus 1, which is 3, plus c. So we get uh, 3x plus 4 cubed over 9. So we still have the same answer with uh, this uh, solution. So we have your additional examples for you to familiarize the 
integration by substitution. So I have here the integral of x squared minus 1 to the fourth power x dx. So we represent q by uh, by the ex uh, expression inside the parenthesis. So we have u is equal to x squared minus 1. So do not include the exponent, only the expression inside the parenthesis. So differentiate u is equal to x squared minus 1, it could become 2x dx. Ba? Sa differentiation na to, we subtract the exponent by 1 and bring down the exponent 2. So we have du is equal to 2x dx. So hence our neutralizing factor is, there is 2, get its reciprocal, it is 1 half. So since du is equal to 2x dx, so therefore du over 2 is equal to x dx. So Candidates x dx, we can substitute it by du over 2. So money, uh, this will become d over 2. And since we let x squared minus 1 be equal to u, so we can just substitute it by u to the power of 4. So it is equal to separate 1 half, the neutralizing factor, the integral of u to the 4 du. Add 1 to the exponent, so 1 half times u to the fifth over 5 plus c. So we have u to the fifth over 10, 2 times 5 is 10 plus c. Since u is equal to x squared minus 1, therefore we can substitute x squared minus 1 to the fifth over 10 plus c. Again, if you are used to it, uh, integration by substitution, you may present this solution. But as a beginner of the basic uh, integration by substitution, I will still let you show the substitution and this solution. Okay, number two. We have here x squared times 2x cubed minus 1 to the fourth dx. So again, what is our u? We let 2x cubed minus 1 equal to u. Then we have to uh, differentiate du. It is equal to 6x squared dx. 3 times 2, 6, and then minus 1 is 2. Hence, our neutralizing factor, what is, what is the number here? It is 6. So the reciprocal of 6 is 1 over 6. Okay, since du is equal to 6x squared dx, Dividing both sides by 6, so we have du over 6 is equal to x squared dx. So therefore, this x squared dx, this one, we can just represent this, that one as du over 6. So, and then we have this 2x cubed minus 1 to the fourth. We can represent this one as u to the fourth because we let u is equal to 2x cubed minus 1. So, proceed to integration. So, separate 1 over 6, integral of u to the fourth du. So, plus 1, we have u to the fifth over 5 plus c. Then, proceed to multiplication. So, we have 1 times u to the fifth is u to the fifth, and 6 times 5 equals 30 plus c. Again, we let u equal to 2x cubed minus 1, so we just substitute it from u. So, we have... 2x cubed minus 1 to the fifth over 30 plus c. Okay, so this is now the final answer. Again, you can present your solution in this manner. Maybe you're asking, us, sir, uh, what, would, what is the use of x squared there in the given? No, uh, the use of the x squared there class in the given is, it is a part of the value of the use. We cannot just pick any example. It must fit on the value of du. How about, sir, kung x lang na siya, niya, and ito x cubed. Oh, there may be another uh, integration that can be applied to that situation. But of this time, as you have noticed, that the other variables that can be seen in the given is the same variable found in the value of du. Okay, so we have here the last example. Integral of x squared dx over x cubed minus 1 to the fourth. Okay. So we let u here, x cubed minus 1 
then we get the derivative. We have 3x squared dx. So what is the neutralizing factor? Okay, we have one third. Okay, so the same procedure. So d over 3 is just equal to x squared dx. So this x, uh, numerator here, we can just substitute du over 3. So that is why I put here du over 3 over u to the fourth. Since x cubed minus 1, we let it equal to u. So integrate, we have one third the integral of u to the negative 4. Again, why it is negative 4? Because we apply the law of exponent. No? Have, uh, did you remember that one? The law of exponent. Now, if it is in the denominator, so if, if we are going to simplify that one, the exponent will be negative. So we have one third times uh, u to the power of negative 3. Because we add it 1, we add it by 1. So we have negative 3 over negative 3 plus c. So multiplying 1 times u to the negative 3 is u to the negative 3 over 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. You can put the negative symbol in line with the fractional line. So you can have 1 over 9 u cubed. And final answer, u is equal to x cubed minus 1. So substitute, we have x cubed minus 1 to the power of 3 plus c. Similarly, you can present your solution in this manner. Again, we will be having an activity for this and I will encourage you class to find problems not similar to the examples that I present here in the video so that we can solve it together. So thank you for watching.